Hi, my name is Don Whitney, and today I'd like to show you an effective bank angling method called plunking. Um, so let's just start with the main line. So here we have the main line coming off the rod. We start with the slider, which your weight attaches to. Then we have a bead, and then finally the chain swivel. The bead in between the slider and the chain swivel is strictly to keep your slider from boring down onto your chain swivel. Another important part on the slider is this dropper weight, which is what we're going to use for the weight. Now for the pound test, should be about 10 pounds less than your main line on the dropper weight, simply for the fact that if you get snagged up, you can break your weight off and you're not going to have to re-rig your whole gear. Just replace your weight with a dropper. So this is a larger version of what we'll be doing today, but this is what I use for salmon. Um, but we'll scale it down a little bit, a little more for steelhead. So what I do, I like to do is I like to start with about three to four feet of leader. Then the first thing that goes on is the bead. And then a corky. Now, depending on how much weight your bait is, so say you have a big gob of eggs or you know, you're using a whole shrimp, it's, go ahead and add some more corkies for buoyancy. The, the purpose of the corkies, that's strictly what it's for, is for buoyancy and to get a little distance between your spin and glow and your hook. So the larger the bait, you're gonna need to, need to add more buoyancy. So throw some more corkies on there. The last thing to go on to the leader is the spin and glow itself. So when it's all together, this is what you have. And what I like to do before I head out into the field is I like to have a bunch of these tied up. Mix it up, change up your colors, just get a whole bunch of different stuff made up. It's going to save a lot of the time when you get into the field. When you're sitting around at home, just tie them up. And all I do is just, if I break one off, I just pull them off of here and just simply just wrap these at home, get them done before. Like I said, it's going to save you a lot of time. <laughs> now, plunking is an easy method of, of bank angling. It's really low key, it's really relaxed, really. The line's doing its work for you. You just throw it out there, let it sit. The fish does all the work, it comes to you. You don't have to cast over and over. I like to take my family out doing with it because it gives me attention with my kids and uh, it's a little easier than unknotting all their bobbers.